before anything else, we have to set up our file and uh, folder structure to the dev mode. And if you have a Steam version of R Factor Do 2, uh, dev mode is already installed. But if you have a, a non Steam version, then you have to download dev mode from R Factor Net and install it separately. Uh, dev mode is located inside R Factor folder where you can find the dev mode. And there we have a locations folder where all track files are placed. Uh, to, t uh, to keep things organized, uh, it's a good practice to build a certain, certain folder structure for our track. Even if it fe feels complicated at first, it will make your life much easier in the long run. Trust me on this. Okay, so, in this case, let's call our track sandbox. So let's make a folder called sandbox. And this is the place where we'll where we will place all our track files. And uh, next thing what we need to do, we need to create a track layout folder. So let's say our layout name could be something like sandbox db. Okay. Then we need some place for our textures, GMTs, and other other track assets. So let's make a folder called assets like this. And uh, other that, uh, we need to separate our textures, GMTs, etc., other files to their own folders. So let's make a following structure under here. First, names. Uh, uh, this is the folder where we will place all our animation files. And the next one is GMT. This is the folder where we will export our uh, track meshes uh, uh, from the 3ds Max or other application. Next, we will need a folder called Maps. And this is the place we will, where we will place uh, or our textures. And then we will make a folder called PSD, for example. Um, this is the place where we will place our Photoshop files when we, need, when we are painting our, uh, painting our textures or edit them or whatever we will do with the textures. So we will save the files from Photoshop or other painting program over here. This can be named whatever you want, but I call it PSD in this case. Then we need one more folder, which is Scheme. And this is the place where I will uh, uh, save uh, the 3DS Max files. So basically, our folder structure is now ready. So if we will look at it again, we made our track main folder called Sandbox. Under there, we have our layout folder, Sandbox GB in this case. And then we have a, our assets folder where we have a, our ana, anim, animation files, GMTs, textures, painting files, and uh, 3ds Max files. Okay, 
Then uh, we need a couple more files. Uh, to get uh, the, uh, the track loading uh, in the in the dev mode, so we need to, we can borrow it actually somewhere else. Let's see. Let's take Jawsville. We need actually track. GDB file and track SCN file. So let's copy these to our sandbox layout folder. And of course, we need to rename them. So let's rename this DP. Also, box DP, and next uh, we need to edit the track GDP file a little bit, so we can uh, uh, make our track in the shown in the game UI. So let's edit this a little bit. So first, you replace the track layout name, which is DP. Almost correct it. And actually, then we have to. Track name, and this one out, and basically other items what are in here. It's not important at this point. This will be edited in the end of the project before release of the track. And uh, what what else what we what we need to do in the GDB file is uh, set up our settings folder. So let's give this same name. Okay, now our track uh, uh, GDP file are ready is ready, so we have give it a correct name. We have give them a track name, event name, and venue name, and we defined settings folder and uh, file names. So now we can save it and exit. Uh, that is actually all what we need to do now, and our GDB is ready for our first loading of the track in the depth mode, when that time comes. And uh, I know it sounds weird that we can copy the SCN file from other track and just rename it, but uh, it will make sense later when we set up the exporter and uh, make our first export from 3, 3ds max okay i think we have covered all what needs to be done when setting up the track folder structure to the dev mode so quick quick recap we make our track folder layout folder folder assets folder which includes all the animations gmt's maps and our working files from uh, photoshop and 
through DS Max.